Hello and welcome to the South African Lawn. So how good does that look? It's all good and great when you take them from the right camera angles, but now I want to show you some of the flaws that I've got in my lawn. So don't get me wrong it is looking fantastic and that's due to a couple of factors and the first being our evening temperature shot up to about seven or eight degrees celsius on average so firstly this kentucky bluegrass lawn of mine is in its prime growing habitat if i can put it to you that way and secondly due to that iron chelate that i put down so that iron chelate really <laughs> popped the color out of this lawn it is looking fantastic and I want to show you some of the main problems, some of which I've foreseen um, when I seeded this lawn and did the leveling and so on. Um, and that is some dry spots. Okay, so just scoot over here and have a look at this. Okay, so if you look at it from this angle, you can clearly see there's a dark blue patch there. And that might look fine on camera, but that's actually a dry patch. And um, that is due to right underneath here right there is massive rocks okay so that blue patch isn't there because it's over fertilized or it wants to be darker than the other grass no it's there because of dry patch and that part is suffering of drought okay so your first thought would be ooh, maybe i should water it and that's exactly what i do i water that part I would say almost every day hand watering it and the rest of it gets water almost every three days by the irrigation timer so that helps to a matter but as temperatures increases it just struggles to retain moisture and retain its water due to that rock being under there and i knew i was going to pick up a problem with that so if that problem persists i would probably have to do something else maybe doing a raised bed there or work around it okay but for now i'm going to try a uh, more simple solution and that'll be something like a wetting agent okay so I haven't added any wetting agent to this lawn of mine and they say wetting agent can save you up to 50% of water oh hello and I don't think that's true well it could be true if your soil is hydrophobic um, so what hydrophobic means is in other words your soil repels the water I don't think I'm really hydrophobic yeah I just think that wetting agent might help retain a little bit more moisture in those dry areas so today i'm going to add some wetting agent to those dry areas hello okay so first up i'm going to give this a cut and then we're going to shoot for our well wetting agent i just want to introduce this new member to the family here and it's quite an annoying dog and i'm sure you'll see a lot of her because she cannot leave me alone if i can get hold of her i can introduce her her name is Mila. Ah! Ah! Sequelia! Oh, no, we sure when you are. Oh, we sure when you are. Ah, Sequelia! Oh, my boy, we sure. Okay, so I just did the edging and I refuse to film that. She's gonna shout like this the whole time. But I refuse to film that because I suck at edging. Now I'm gonna go for the mow. Also, this lawn is mown pretty short, so how low can you mow?
Okay, so here I am at my top secret laboratory and um, okay, it's in my backyard. But uh, here we're gonna do some testing for explanation purposes. So here I've got two glasses, glass number one, glass number two. Okay, and for testing purposes, in glass number two, we're gonna add some wetting agent. So this is glass number two. Okay, so as you can see, right there, we've got a glass of a whole different nature. Okay, so I just want to show you what happens when you add clear water to hydrophobic soil. Have a look here. I'm just going to put it a little bit. And it creates a waxy... It actually goes into the soil, but creates a waxy layer and it repels the, the water. So, I'm going to show you... What happens when you add this? You can actually see that the edges doesn't build up as high. So it soaks into the soil much better. So as far as I know, what this is supposed to do is, it's supposed to actually make the water hold on to the soil. They say it reduces fertilizer as well. I don't know about that, but it could be. Whoa, that is seriously a hydrophobic, holy cow. <laughs> that is incredible. So that is exactly what I mean. That's what wedding agent is for. Okay, so I'm back at my blue patch. And I know this is Kentucky Bluegrass, but it is not supposed to be this color of blue or this shade of blue. Alright, so I'm going to mix in, I think this takes about 10 liters. Okay, so this thing takes forever. I think it might take me 45 minutes to fill this thing. Okay, so I filled it up. Now I'm going to add my wetting agent. Threw about a quarter of this bottle in there. Uh, whether it's enough, I don't know. And I've actually got one or two bad patches that dried out in the lawn. So I'm going to add it to all the spots. And I'm going to water it in. And then we'll see what the difference is. Let me just give it a shake first. So I threw about 5 litres of that 10 litres mixture on this one spot. Now I'm just going to water it in thoroughly so it gets down into the soil. Okay, so I don't know what the recommended rate is of putting this down actually. Um, but you can put this on your whole lawn. It doesn't do any harm. It can only do it for the... it can only improve it. Um, so yes, you can obviously add this as well to your plants your hanging baskets or, or, or potted plants um, that'll obviously keep the moisture locked in there as well okay so that's basically the whole process of adding wetting agent to your lawn hopefully it makes a difference I'll tell you in the next video I'll give you an update on how that fares um, so hopefully it'll lock in the water there and my lawn can grow healthy Okay, so I'm going to wrap up the video there. That's all I've got for today. And thank you so much for everyone watching. I think I'm an absolute fool, so I don't really deserve any views, even though I don't get many. Uh, but thank you for everyone watching, and please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now. Bye-bye. Boom. So this lab of mine here is just fantastic. The research we do here, the information we gather here, top class.
Okay, so it's a couple days later and I just want to show you the progress on my blue patch here. So it actually looks to me as if it is improving a little bit. However, it has been getting water, well, quite often, almost every day. Been hand watering that part there. But it does look a hell of a lot better. Also, I'm about to post this video. Also, I would just like to know how you guys apply wetting agent because here in South Africa we don't seem to get um, hosing spray so if everybody any, anybody in South Africa know where to find a hosing sprayer please let me know I would love to buy one of them and then uh, I'll, I just want to show you an alternative um, to a hosing sprayer uh, what I use so I've got this still RE119 high pressure hose and obviously it gives you an option to add on this um, chemical bottle so what I, use, I do is when I want to apply to the whole lawn I just it's quite difficult to use everything together and have a look at this so I spray it ok this is just normal dish soap in here um, this is quite effective to do a large area and then she has to water it in afterwards. Bye bye.